Today we're going to be talking about container gardens. Container gardens are great options for those who have limited space but still want to enjoy the color and interest that annuals and perennials can provide. Uh, one of the first important steps in container gardening is the container. You want to be sure that you have an adequately sized container for the space you're using, as well as the types and forms of plants that you're going to be using. You also want to be sure that it has proper drainage. The container we're using today is a 12-inch plastic pot, which roughly holds one cubic foot of soil. This is important to know if you plan on using and incorporating a slow-release fertilizer. Uh, be sure to follow the directions according to your method and type of fertilizer. Once you have the fertilizer thoroughly mixed in through your soil, you can begin the design phase. When designing, there's a basic principle and recipe that works for most containers, and that's a three-part, which contains a thriller, which is your upright centerpiece, which is a focal point with attractive foliage or flowers. You also have a filler, which is semi-mounting to trailing, um, and that's going to fill in your space between your focal point and your spillers, which leads us to the final one, a spiller. As the name implies, that's one that will cascade over the edge and uh, help soften the container to your surroundings. Some examples of thrillers include Cleo, Coleus, or Penicetum. Examples of fillers include your Calibrachoa, Petunias, or Lantana. And your spillers include Sweet Alyssum, Fanflower, or Fiber Optic Grass. So when you begin your design, Take your focal plant, and if you're going to use it in a central location where it'll be viewed from all sides, place it directly in the middle. If it's going to be viewed from only one side, you can place it towards the back. Then you can begin putting in your mounting plants around your uh, focal point plant. Then fill it in with your spillers. Once you have your design figured out, you can begin the planting phase. When planting your plants, be sure that you give it an adequate size and you're completely putting soil all the way around your plants. Then you'll want to backfill around your plants, yet maintain a proper distance between the top of your container and your soil level. This will allow uh, area space for your water to completely enter your soil and hydrate the entire container. Which leads us to our final step, the most important, watering them in. By giving it a thorough soak, you're eliminating air pockets and increasing the root to soil uh, contact, which is going to allow your plants to have a healthy and vigorous start to the year for you to enjoy. To learn more, join us for our third Thursday educational program, Container Design, at 6.30 p.m. on May 15th at the McCrory Gardens Education and Visitor Center in Brookings, South Dakota. For McCrory Gardens, I'm Chris Schlecker.